I lumped off the bed and hit the light switch. The door was now open, flushed to the wall like someone had stood there, blocking the doorway, observing. The corridor beyond it was dark and longer than I remembered it. Fuck you, I shouted into the corridor, breathing deep between each word. And the words I thought I could and around the words I thought I could hear a whisper of someone speaking back to me. Dog stopped howling, let out a moan, and I ran into the darkness of the hallway. Nothing showed up at the end of the hall, just the window and outside the night. I took my jeans from the floor and pulled them on as I moved down the corridor to the stairway. The light switch at the top of the stairs was not where it should have been, so I plowed into the dark and down to the kitchen where I found the light already on and dog sitting under the table with a drawer coming out of him and puddling on the floor. We went out the door and got into the car, started the engine and I drove with my hands shaking against the ceiling wheel. I was going to drive straight into town, straight to the police station and bang on the door. But as my heart slowed down, so did my driving and I parked in the driveway of the field in sight of the lights of town, turned the engine off. Dog curled in the footwell of the passenger seat and shook, his eyes black and round. I rested my head on the steering wheel and breathed in and out until the still and the quiet became natural. And Dog crawled from his footwell and let me rub his ears. We'll be okay, I said to him, and he looked at me. We've got options. We're smart, right? Right? We watched the light draw through the sky in a bar now on her final patrol. We broke up the door. Alone swimmer in an empty sea.